What's going on guys, Snip and Scorpion here, and in today's other video, I am doing draft round three of the NFL 2020, of the 2020 NFL draft for the Ravens, again, like usual. So, the Ravens, they drafted a wide receiver, which I think that we actually needed because we were last in the AFC North for wide receivers behind... Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Pittsburgh. I think that went was the order. And then we were dead last because we don't really have that good wide receivers. We have Marquise Brown, um, Chris Moore, but he's like a punt receiver. Um, and uh, we had Hayden Hurst, but I think he was more of a tight end. And somebody else, I can't remember. But I think we actually did need... A wide receiver because, well, we were dead last for AFC North for wide receivers. But ahead of mostly everybody else for tight ends, of course. Quarterback, of course, Lamar Jackson is 10 times better than Baker Mayfield. Andy Dalton. I'm sorry, his backup. I forgot his name. That backup is trash. I'm telling you, he is so bad. And um, Mason Rudolph. Mason Rudolph, he, 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 he's really bad as well. And Hodges. Well, the duck. Anyway. But yeah. I think it's really good that Baltimore got a wide receiver because we needed him. Now, the wide receiver we got is Devin Duvernay. Wide receiver from Texas University, from Texas State University, I believe. Hold on one second, let me check, let me check. Yeah, yeah, his college was Texas, I believe. Yeah, Texas, I don't know, state, but it just says Texas on my phone where he's from for the college. Now, this guy... I was watching TV when my phone went off from the NFL app about the guy we got. He is apparently pretty fast. For the 40 yard dash, he got a 4.3, he got 4.39 seconds. That is incredible to go from 0 yards to 40 yards in just 4 seconds. That is unbelievable. That is pretty fast. He finished his three cone drill in just 7.13 seconds and the 20 yard sh sh shuttle in 4.2 seconds. This guy is fast. Now, he does have some weaknesses, but his strengths overcome his weaknesses. Some of them, some of them do. It says he led the nation in catches and finished fourth in yardage for his college. Uh, he was the Texas 100 meter state champion he has good sideline aware. He has good sideline awareness to drop the feet inbounds. He can pluck throws with hands or nestle them in traffic, so he can throw the ball and he can hold on to it when he's in traffic, so the ball won't get punched out like some wide receivers have done. Um, so that's good. He has really good ball control. He can hold it if somebody's trying to knock it out. So that's that's really that's really good. Now a weakness is that he plays like a running back who has great hands. I don't who I don't know what that means, but apparently that's a weakness. He tends to drift on o on overs and deep digs. Um, he's inconsistent use of burst to open. He's he needs to square numbers to throw to throw to protect catch point. Uh, he's below average below average ball skills down the field. And he lacks length and timing for 50-50 wins. Now, that's not really good. Okay, that's not that's not really good. But like I said, I think his strengths outweigh his weaknesses, and that's really good considering that you have somebody who's really, really fast. Baltimore, I think they did good. I don't know. Um, this is probably gonna be a short video, but I just want to say that right now round four is going on. By the time I'm recording this. And Baltimore, I would have round four tomorrow. For tomorrow's video, I would have round four. Right now, Baltimore is... Right now, Oakland is going pick 139. Baltimore is pick 143. So in, a, in like an hour or so, Baltimore will go. And we would have... I'm guessing... I, I, what I, I think we're going to get is maybe defensive end because I don't know. I mean, I'm just spitball. I'm just going to say we're probably going to get a defensive end. And if I get that right, 
And then I got that right. If you guys are new, please subscribe. It will really mean a lot. I'm trying to get to 2,000 by the end of the year. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's not a lot, but I hope you guys can forgive me for that. Again, I didn't make notes for this video. I'm sorry about that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.